Hey monkeys, it's Jam from Small Time Outlaws, bringing you the seventh video in the simple game programming tutorial series. Uh, in this video, we're going to kind of slow it down a little bit and just implement the remainder of our gameplay so our players can score some points and then die. And so it's, you know, unlike the last videos, so upwards of half an hour long, this one's going to be pretty darn short. So let's get back into our game. And the first thing we're going to do is implement the scoring, which will be fairly simple. So inside our player class here, we're going to create a field called score, and it's going to be of type int. And then just in the reset, we will reset the player score back to zero. So now going back to our main class, our main file, and we want to give the player a score and you can do this several different ways. I'm going to do it we're going to put it down here at the bottom of the update player class or update player method. So one way you can do it is using the player that we send into this method. We can just assign their score to a say we can say like the time they pass. So these these players score points based on how long they last. And so we can do that and if you don't like you know, milliseconds, that can get kind of big, so you, know, you can divide it by 100 to bring it down a little bit. Uh, one way I kind of prefer to do is instead of, you know, being the player that lasts the longest, you should the more points you go to the player that, you know, falls the farthest, that actually, you know, doesn't just hang out on the platform until it reaches the top after everybody's dead. They're actually, you know, making an effort to get down. So we're actually going to just set the player score to that player's position in the the y direction. So as they're going down and going down, their score is going to keep going up, and so it's going to be more rewarding for those that are more willing to try and get down and fall and fall and fall. And so now that we've done that, let's go and render on the on render. We're just going to render the score to the scene to the screen, so we can actually see what our scores are. We'll put it under here. I will say score, and it is player one score, and we're gonna put this. Let's put this on the far right of the screen, and then we're gonna right align it. So we'll make this vertical alignment one. So put it all the way to the right. Now let's run this. Oh, we got an error here. Misspelling. Let's try to run this again. And there you go, now you can see up here we have a score being tabulated for this player. While they're you know, while they're making an effort to get down. So when they stop on a platform and they're rising up, they don't the score doesn't increase. It only increases as they fall. So yeah, I think that's gonna work for me. So now let's set it up so these, the players actually die when they go off the screen. So if they hit the bottom, in that case, in this case, it's going to be our lava. It's like lava that the rocks are coming out of. So when they, you know, go into the lava, they're going to die. And then at the top, there's rows of spikes. And if they run into the spikes, they die. So you know, they can't hit the top and can't hit the bottom. So the way we're going to check for that is just using the player position, checking it against the camera position. And we know that the camera position is just the top of our screen. So as soon as the player's position goes less than the top of the screen, or less than the camera, and remember the camera positions are negative, so we need to get absolute value to switch it back to positive. So now if the, the player's Y position is less than the camera's Y position, they'll die, or if the player's Y position oops, is greater than the uh, camera position minus the screen height. So this will be the bottom of the screen. And I use the minus just to, because it's already negative, so when I subtract the screen height, that's going to be the bottom of the screen and then it's, the absolute value is going to make it positive again. 
And so if the, either of these, uh, if either of these conditions happen, we'll set the game state to our state death constant. And now if we go back to our on render method right here on render and go into state death we can just uh, well for now we're just going to draw some text make it keep it simple so we're going to throw game over up on top of the screen in the middle somewhere on the top and we're going to align it vertically or centered and then I'll add some more and just say like oh here was your score put that on their screen somewhere aligned as well and finally we'll tell them hey you can press enter to play again and we'll put that on there as well and center so now that'll come up when they die and what we want to do is you know allow them to press enter to play again so we'll say if key whoops if wait yeah if key hit key enter and we're going to reset and set the game state to state game and this is in our on update function under the uh, state death case so that's why we're doing that And here we go. About to fall off the screen. Oh. Oh, and I died. Press enter to play again. Okay, I can keep playing. And now we're gonna test if make sure the top of the screen works. Boom, okay, so that works. Oh, fell right through. So as you can see, we pretty much have a game now. You can tally up that score play against your friends and that's gonna be it for this video nice and short and the next one we're gonna actually add multiplayer action so you can have your friends playing here with you it's gonna be one screen multiplayer so everybody's gonna be on the same keyboard for some kind of madness but should be fun so hang, hang around for that one and uh, if you have any questions leave some comments down below or email me at jim at smalltimeoutlaws.com and have a wonderful day